Can we turn Brenda and Janet into camping converts like Boris? Right, I've got to get my uh, time watches, stopwatches here, uh, because they've got the break to pitch their tents. But who will end up the happy camper? Come right, you ready, mark. ladies? On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> oh, no! Why have I got the <laughs> difficult one? Oh, no! Oh, keep going, come on, come on! No. Oh, it's all in bed! Damn it, it's not going very well, is it? No, it's What's not really going well. not going very well. Right, we're back after this. First, we pitch our tent. Oh, you can see the uh, tent challenge went well during the break. It's uh, been amusing, to say the least. I'm trapped in the uh, Can you even get out of there, Janet? <laughs> Oh, there you go. Well done. <laughs> That's it. Carry on camping. Well, Janet. 10 out of 10 for effort. Or are you stopping now or are you going to stop keep that. crying? Stop. Oh, no. It's a five mile What are the words, Janet? By the way, whoever made this tent, you should say five person tent, not five well, man. Well, you tried, Janet. And that's the important thing is that you tried. You tried. Brenda's just gloated. You gave her an easy Yeah, Janet, one. meanwhile, is uh, Brenda, meanwhile, is really enjoying herself down there. Uh, I can't believe it. Oh, Janet. <laughs> well done. Well done, Brenda. I wonder if uh, Ron Johnson it would give them a run for their money. Now, we might not all be going on a summer holiday this year. Thanks for rubbing it in, Cliff. But one person who certainly is, our Prime Minister Boris Johnson, in fact, he and fiance Carrie are heading to Scotland with three-month-old Wilfred and dog Dylan. We've made that up, clearly. <laughs> and uh, not the story, but the picture. And uh, number 10 sources say the couple plan to spend a couple of days camping, but one of the Prime Minister's exes has branded the pitching plan a disaster, saying it will finish off their relationship. Does she have a point, Janet? Well, I think it's a PR move, isn't it? It's all a bit of PR to show that Boris and Carrie are just like the rest of us, all having our staycations. They're going to go all the way up to Scotland <coughs> and be in a tent for two days just to show they're like ordinary folk. Well, first of all, I'm going to Scotland in a couple of weeks' time, so I hope I'm not going near where they are, but I do know that it's midge season, so these horrible little biting things you've really got to get on top of and cope with. And personally, I would not submit a small baby to loads and loads of midges. It just seems bonkers to me. I bet they're not really in a tent. More camping. I bet, I bet they're going in a swanky lodge, really. Well, Tra <laughs> Tracy, are you on the line? <laughs> Tracy? I'm in. <laughs> I'm only playing. Uh, yeah, you've joined us on the line because uh, your internet's on, on the wobble. But you're a big fan, aren't you, of, uh, of going camping with, uh, with not just the kids, but the, but the really little ones as well? I love camping. I haven't been with my youngest yet. I have been when the boys have been really young. I mean, my older two will camp in a garden if I get the chance. They would have been love it. So I, I have really fond memories of it. I don't think it's a romantic getaway when you've got a baby. But I will say, there's, um, Boris's uh, little one is, is three months. And I think if you're going to do that type of holiday, go three months is, is a good age because they have not a couple of nets a day. They don't walk around. You don't have to chase after them. So that, for me, is like an ideal age. But uh, Brenda, you you were very much a no 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 I'm a no, camping. But, but I did. I bought a tent like 12 years ago, and it's still in the package in the ceiling and everything. Where were you going to camp? I was going to put it in the back garden so that yeah. the kids could go out at night time and, and look at the stars and and things like that. But never got it out of the packet. And so so you know, today, but, how come you had the easy tent? And I, I got the five-person well. yeah. belt. Because I'm dog. just that good, Janet. That's why. <laughs> I have gone camping. I mean, I've camped when I've been on long hikes in Africa, uh, in the Himalayas and so on. And, you know, I'm fine, but I'm not putting up the tent in that situation. Uh, other people are putting it up because I'm walking all day and I, I'm completely exhausted after six hours walking. I think I've demonstrated. I've got I, zero I, tent yeah, skill. Yeah, I, th I, I think you've demonstrated that, but... Uh, uh, I'm not necessarily a huge fan of camping. I stopped going to Girl Guides because they kept making us camp. <laughs> but having, having listened to, to you talk about it, Stacey, I'm now considering taking the kids camping. It's not something that I've, I've assumed that I would enjoy doing with them. Oh, you'll love it. I think when you see the kids having a really good time, even the frustrating things like if you run out of food or you can't cook anything or you're all cramped in there, even the annoying things become things that you look back on and laugh. I remember it from when I was little and my dad would keep the 
kids camping all the time. And I only have some memories of it. I don't have any. And I'm sure it wasn't easy for him because he was a single parent and he'd take all three of us. But I don't remember anything other than utter glee. Well, can I give you all some advice? The worst thing about camping is that trip to the toilet in the middle of the night. Because if it's cold and Boris and Carrie, it is going to be cold outside at night. If you don't want to go to the toilet tent, uh, take a yoghurt carton with you and you can wee inside the tent and then just flick it outside the flap. I'm really not sure I needed that image <laughs> in well, my head. It's just that all hot. Time, well, I'm telling you, it's practical <laughs> advice. Do you want to lay... Can you... Uh, is, have you got the bladder control? You want to go to the loo, it's 3 o'clock in the morning, you've got to put yogurt. your shoes yeah. on, lace them up, walk across a field or, and find a hole a, in the ground. Or get a yoghurt pop. Or Thank get a yoghurt so pop. Thank you so much. On, on that note... On that note...